And welcome back to this next video in rendering SolidWorks and FreeCAD parts in Blender. Again, this is a collaboration with all visuals for you. I think that uh, this channel is a excellent quality, so check out that channel if you haven't already. Let's talk about some more of the uh, functionality that Blender gives you when uh, working to make a render and working to make new views. The first thing is uh, perhaps we could go over the rendering engine. There are um, several engine renders available in Blender. So let's say I want to view what my rendered product looks like right now. I come down here, click on this white circle, and choose Viewport as Rendered. And this gives me a preview of what my rendered product will look like. Now, if I go back to Solid, which is our default view, I notice I have my camera right here. So my view, is when I render it, is actually going to be from this camera. So to get the view from the camera, I push the zero key on the number pad and it takes me to this view. And this is uh, much better because now I can see I can adjust my bottle and I can even scale my bottle to whatever view I would like it to be in. Um, and now I can take a look at what my rendered product will look like. And there it is. So there are several rendering engines, as I said before, and uh, one of the things that I can adjust is up here, Blender Render, which is, I think, the original rendering engine that came with Blender. It's been around since like the 90s. It's the time-tested, dead reliable engine. Now you also have Blender Game, which is admit, obviously for video games. And then you have Cycles Render, which is sort of the, the new flashy fancy engine. Um, everything we're doing for this channel is related to Cycles because it contains a lot of the capability for uh, textures and makes things really easy to get the photorealistic renders that you'd be looking for uh, from exporting from a 3D parametric modeler. So if I do my cycles render, you can see already we've got kind of a different view on our uh, on our bottle. And um, after we um, decide on a view orientation that we like, there's there's a few other things that I might want to do. The first thing is I might want to move the camera from its default view. And uh, if that's the case, I'll, I'll go back to uh, solid for a second. I can use my number pad to change my default camera view. For instance, I can hit the number one, two, and two, sort of adjust my view, as, as does um, six and four. Then I can go to view three, um, view seven, and view nine. And in between all these views, I can make these adjustments. So in your number pad, the, the numbers that form a um, plus, in other words, number eight, two, four, and six, adjust your view. And one, three, seven, and nine, make adjustments onto, uh, you know, they're, they're like a, a hotkey to quickly go to a view. And then the adjustments are with the other number pads. So play around with that. Let's say I really am in love with this view of the bottle, and it's actually a pretty good view. Uh, if I want to move my camera to this view that I'm looking at right now, I hit Control, Alt, Number Pad 0, and my camera moves to satisfy that view. And there is my bottle. Uh, finally, I might want to rotate my bottle. Perhaps it doesn't import correctly. Well, to, to uh, rotate, the easiest way to do this is hit the R key, R like what a pirate says, and I can use my mouse to rotate it around an axis, whatever, uh, but I don't really like doing that because who knows if that's the best view or, or exactly what my view is. So I hit Control Z, I hit R for rotate, and then I hit the degrees that I want to rotate around. Let's say we want to rotate it 45 degrees, so I push 4-5 on the number pad, and I want to rotate that around the Z axis. And so I hit the Z key, or if you want to do the X axis or the Y axis or whatever, and then I hit the Enter key. And that's how I can make rotations in Blender. Uh, finally, you know, I, I, I can make my rotation, and then I can say, what does this look like rendered? Oh, that's, that's kind of weird, and I might be switching back and forth between solid and rendered a lot. And you might think, wouldn't it be nice if I could, you know, view this, but see what it looks like rendered on the fly? And to do that, you go to these lines up here, 
and you can get a totally different uh, view, right? So these views can function independently of each other. And what the advantage is, is I can have my camera view on one screen and my 3D view on the other, and I can switch this view to rendered. And as I move this around, it updates on the fly and gives me a rendered preview. So I can make my adjustments knowing exactly what it's going to look like rendered with very little effort. So that's another one of the uh, amazing modular screens and views that Blender offers. Uh, so join me in the next video where we'll go over some more details on rendering in Blender. And I'll see you in the next video.